All right. <laughs> Dem muss schon einen guten Engel. Grüß euch Leute und willkommen zu einem neuen YouTube-Video. Als ich diese Woche 20 bin, habe ich entschieden, eine neue Ära zu beginnen und meine YouTube-Videos in Englisch zu beginnen, um die Welt mit meinem talentierten Englisch zu segnen. Ich bin bewusst von meinem schrecklichen Englisch, aber ich versuche mein Bestes. Heute sind wir in der Negev Desert mit Jacob. Um, I wanted to speak out my gratitude for 20 things in my life because I'm turning 20 this week and I probably start with the first thing. I'm very thankful for my family because I think it's a pretty big privilege to live in such a healthy and strong family. I really enjoy it. All right, another thing I'm very thankful for is To, to be able to chill here in the desert. Like, it's so surreal for me. I think I'll just say some random things I'm thankful for. And later in the editing, I'll count them. <laughs> so I'm also really thankful for, um, <laughs> for passing the graduation tests. So, so. Was ist das vorher aus? <lacht> I'm very thankful for having so many good friends, uh, also here in Israel, for example. <lacht> Another thing I'm very thankful for is the, the passion I have for video creating, like to be able to to pack this in such a video and. Yes, show my gratitude in this way. I think that's very, very cool. Another thing I'm very thankful for is um, sunsets and sunrises. I think I like sunrises even more because it's quiet in the morning, everything is sleeping. Actually, it just went down. Another thing I'm very thankful uh, for is to be in the Regnum Christi. That's the lay movement of the Legionaries of Christ, which is a community of Catholic priests. And yes, I really appreciate like to have all those connections, to live your faith in, uh, in a young, um, vivid community. And yeah, I really appreciate that. Another thing I'm very thankful for is to, to have grown up in, a peaceful, in peaceful circumstances because I don't take it naturally, I don't know if you can say that. And just to let you see, I'm a volunteer of the Austrian Hospice if you don't know me. So there we are. Another thing I'm very thankful for is actually to volunteer here in Jerusalem. I think it's such a privilege to be able to be in this country during the whole situation and yeah, I really appreciate it. Another thing that comes to my mind is the DTS in Salzburg I did last year. A DTS is a discipleship training school. So you learn about discipleship, how to live your faith, kind of that stuff. I'm also grateful for my physical and mental health because you know you take it so often for natural that you're healthy but if you look in the world it's not not the usual always so I don't know if it was English but right I appreciate it Another thing I'm very thankful for is to not worry about where I can get my food. I just have the money to buy it or I can get it from my family, whatever. 
such a privilege. I don't take it naturally. I'm also thankful for having visited so many different countries and to get to know about all these different cultures. That's also very, very nice. I really appreciate it. And another thing I want to express my gratitude uh, is to, to know even another language. Like my mom is from Slovakia, so I can speak Slovak. That's so cool. I also really appreciate my passion for sports. I had so many great experience in skating or freestyle skiing. Also made some friends through the sport. So I really appreciate that. A very special thing to me I'm very thankful for is um, to experience all those different adventures. For example, today I went with Lucas. Um, we wanted to to jump down waterfalls for for the uh, new promo video we're doing from our like from the hospice where I volunteer. And we went there, <laughs> and it was like really really sketchy and. Um, we weren't really sure if the water is deep enough and suddenly a guy came and shouted like really really angry at us and I was like okay we're gonna blow it, we, we don't do it. <laughs> so we went back up, um, like we went up the waterfall and then the guys waited for us, it was two of them and they were like from the, I don't know, from the national park kind of. So they were telling us you're in a like in a closed area you can't be here especially not in this situation and um they said the normal is ticket yeah also park ticket Strafe. Oh, our English is so bad. We both don't know what Strafe is. <laughs> so we would have to pay a penalty fee like 730 shekel, which is, I don't know, about 180 euros kind of. So <laughs> somehow they, they were very, um, I don't know, kind to us and they just just let us go and they even took us with their vehicle like they had this ranger kind of quad um, for the I don't know national park guarding and they took us like I don't know maybe one and a half or maybe even two kilometers um, to the street and then <laughs> then we wanted to hitchhike to our car where we parked and <laughs> suddenly the, the same guys showed up and took us to the village we we had to go because they saw we we weren't like really nobody wanted to take us with it uh, like with the car so they took us and <laughs> brought us even to our car so that was so kind of them and yes, that's one of the adventures we experienced today. Also very thankful for journaling over one year. I really recommend it because you have every, like I do it in the evening, um, every evening time to reflect your day. And it helps me really to improve myself. I'm very thankful for being such an outgoing and extroverted person because it makes a lot of things easier if you're in a new group. I mean, I need to feel comfortable, but once I feel comfortable, I'm really outgoing. It's also not that easy to say for me, but I'm thankful for all the challenges I had in my life, especially all like the yeah, personal challenges um, I had to deal with because yeah, in the moment sometimes it's really really hard and you just want to get out of it but um, later you see the benefit of the difficult situation like a difficult situation makes you 
um, like it pushes you to get a solution or to live with it and that's also helping to yes to just empower yourself so I'm really thankful for all the challenges I had so far and last but not least I want to be thankful for the past 20 years I lived all the opportunities I had and all the blessings I got honestly it wasn't that easy to find 20 things out of pocket uh, which I'm thankful for but I think it's a very a very healthy way to to get uh, conscious about um, what you what you you've been gifted with your life and yes I want to inspire you maybe make also a list doesn't have to be 20 things it can be like five things but try to think about what are you grateful for and yeah I think that's a really really important and really nice thing to do so I hope it was somehow understandable and my mistakes weren't that embarrassing <laughs> but yeah there we are my first English YouTube video